The U.S. and Tehran appear to be on a collision course. President Trump warning the Islamic Republic that its threats will come back to bite them. Here's his tweet, the president reacting to Hassan Rouhani's vow to step up uranium enrichment levels, warning Iran to, quote, be careful. Rouhani won't say exactly how much the percentage increase will be, but if Tehran resumes high-grade enrichment, it could put them on the path to a nuclear bomb, maybe by the end of the year. From July 7th onward, the level of our enrichment will not be at 3.67 percent anymore. We will put aside this commitment as much as we want and to any level we think is necessary and we need. We will move up from 3.67 percent. You must also know that after July 7th, in regard to the Iraq heavy water reactor, if you do not fulfill your commitments entirely and according to the schedule, we will restore the reactor to its previous status. What Iran is promising to do this weekend is much different and much more dangerous than what they started doing last week. And it is important to understand why. Let's say I'm lactose intolerant, but I can handle a little bit of milk. Not a lot, but a little. And a bunch of international doctors agree on the level I can drink. It's kind of like the JCPOA nuclear deal. I can have one carton of 1% milk. That's it. If I violate that deal, which Iran has now done, and have two cartons of 1%, all that changed is the pace. I'm not actually dangerously sick. I'm still just drinking 1% milk. I just have more of it. But starting Sunday, I'm going to switch to 3% milk. Oh, that is a big difference. This could make me violently ill. This could impact the safety and security of people in my way. And that's what Iran is going to do on Sunday. Forget about adding to the uranium stockpile, but keeping at that 3.67 percent level, they will start increasing the level way up, possibly to the point where they can produce a nuclear weapon.